So good morning everybody, my name is Clarence Grunson. I'm doing my website critique on ArcFest. Um, I've officially accepted a position with them coming up in the summer of 2019. So a little bit about the company background and the website. Um, ArcFest is a logistics company, um, otherwise known as a 3PL. If you don't know what a 3PL is, a 3PL is a third party logistics. Basically they provide reliable transfer, transportation through their um, network of experienced professionals. They are headquartered in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and as you can see from the picture, they have recently won Best Place to Work in Fort Smith, um, and they currently have about 13,000 employees. So for their corporate governance and annual reports, I'm going to pull up their webpage just to show you how easy it is to get to them. Um, so right in the Investors tab, you can see they have their corporate governance um, right here. I don't want to go over too much of the website because I was going to talk more in the navigation section, but um, they didn't really have an organizational chart online. However, you can find their board of directors, their board committees, and their governance charters. Um, along with, if you go down to the annual reports that we were talking about, they have them all the way from 1997 to 2018, and you can simply uh, download these and look at all their operation costs and they actually give a lot more background information. Just go through a couple of slides. That's that. So to move on about my overall impression of the website, um, from first glance, they use a lot of good uh, vivid pictures and they incorporate their colors well. The colors are navy blue, white, black, and um, an off shade of teal. Um, and there's a lot of useful company information right on the home page so that makes it easy to navigate. Um, it's well defined, easy to find what you are looking for. Um, they use both the main navigation system and drop down menus. Um, as you just seen, we went to the investors drop down menu to find the corporate governments and the annual report. Um, and then in their top, they do have the hierarchy top seven tags to help navigate um, through the content. As far as multimedia and photos, um, there isn't any audio on the website, but they do make up, that, up for that in their descriptive text. And um, they do have a good amount of pictures to help describe exactly what they provide. Um, as far as load up speed and pop ups, um, from my experience, I mean it loaded up pretty quick yesterday, but that was obviously a little bit slower today. Um, as far as pop ups, they only have two. They have a help and support tab on the side, and then they have an instant message feature at the bottom. So I'll go through that a little bit. And I just have a general question. Um, does ArcBest have a professional look? In my opinion, they do. I think it's very straightforward. Um, right off the bat, if you're working with ArcBest, you're using transportation. So they have somewhere right in the beginning where you can trap your shipment with their company colors, um, a vivid picture of a roadway, trucks going through, um, kind of define what they do, LTL, which is less than truckload, full truckload, time definite. Um, a little bit of their solutions. This is right where you can get in contact with an expert. Um, kind of the services they provide, premium logistics, freight shipping, how they can optimize your supply chain, moving services, and things like that. Um, so overall, I think it's pretty um, professional. I was very surprised that they do have their market share information on here. That was the first company I've seen like that that has it right on their home page. Um, and as you can see, they have their first quarter earnings easy to access as far as annual reports. So now we're going to move on to the HR site slash career site. Um, ArcBest currently has 75 <coughs> openings besides their management trainee position. Um, their management trainee position is a little different. They have 100 openings across the United States, but they don't take a lot of people because um, it's a very prestigious program. It's ranked 11th in the top 125 training programs across the United States. Um, just a couple statistics. Last year, they I know this because I was talking to a company employee, but they had over 5,000 submissions to do a uh, tra management training program, and they only accepted 37 people. Um, and then the procedure for applying to ArcBest is very standard, like any other. You can go online, click on the position you want, give your information, give your experience, give your resume, um, and then they will get in contact. So a little bit about their social media. They're currently active on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, they're most successful on LinkedIn. They have about 10,000 followers. Um, they post a lot more frequently than their other social media sites. 
and they do use um, the hashtag our people are best which is kind of where they go through um, their community efforts through their individual employees uh, if I had to give them a rate though out of 1 to 10 I gave them a 2 um, they have 10,000 followers on LinkedIn and there's 500 million uh, users currently um, and then Facebook Instagram and Twitter combined only reaches 6,000 more people so out of all the people in the world, they're only reaching out to about 16,000 right now. So if I had to give them any advice or a consultant, um, I would obviously add more about the company history. You can't really find anything about that or an organizational chart other than the board of directors. Uh, I think they should talk about more about being a parent company because they do own four child companies. Um, and they don't really mention that other than the links to their websites to use them. Um, I also mentioned like, that I just talked about um, improve their social media status, um, reach out more than 16,000 people would be a very good start. And in the careers page, if you look through some of the job descriptions, I said that they could rewrite some of the responsibilities. Um, they have like 20 to 30 of them in some jobs and they're very vague and a lot of them say the same thing, so I thought they could rewrite them. Does anyone have any questions?